Bud Light presents Internet Heroes of Genius. Internet Heroes of Genius. Today we salute you, person who accidentally went viral. Person who accidentally went viral. You showed the world how to dance like no one was watching, even though soon literally everyone would be watching. 5.6 million likes. One day you were being interviewed by the local news. The next, millions put funny captions on your face. Ain't nobody got time for that. Some famous people get recognized in public for their acting or singing. You for saying crazy <laughs> well under anesthesia. What the f is happening? So crack open a nice cold Bud Light, notorious M.E.M.E. -E -E, because you're the gift that just keeps on giving. Person who accidentally went viral. Enjoy responsibly. 2019 Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. You see, I've done a little bit of rearranging back here. You can spot some spooky stuff. There's a creepy crawler's machine down there. I got some some uh, Neo Geo classics back here. I've got the Mother 2 vinyl. How many of you got that? Um, classic NES Advantage. Well, while you're looking around, by the way, I didn't realize the top shelf showed, so I have to put some cool stuff up there too. Um, but while I do, I say that and I show you some cool things to look at to hopefully inoculate you against what we're now going to be looking at. And that is the woman of the year. And because it's 2023, the woman of the year is a man. Uh, and of course, most of these media outlets that do stuff like this are literally dying on the vine and the, the only thing they can do is rage bait and do this stuff for headlines. Nobody even knows who this organization is. I actually feel bad. I'd feel worse for them if they weren't making you know millions of dollars. We see a Virgin Atlantic altitude speech uh, no matter how hard I try or what I wear or what I say or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. Now, again, these are the very same people that say follow, said follow the science for however long, um, but it's not, not, not now, right? Not, not in this particular case. I mean, I think it, it's pretty sad you know, Dylan Mulvaney won Woman of the Year at the Virgin Atlantic Attitude Awards, sponsored by Virgin Atlantic. The Woman of the Year Award, supported by Virgin Atlantic, goes to Dylan Mulvaney. Imagine you're an actual, you know, you're a biological woman, okay? You're a biological woman, and... Uh, I, I imagine at some point you just get tired of this. You get tired of everybody making a mockery of the struggles that women have. Um, you get tired of making a mockery of people, you know, the media making a mockery. Uh, it, it's, it's insane. Hello, London! I am so honored to be here with you all tonight. And, you know, some see me as the woman of the year. Nobody sees Dylan Mulvaney as the woman of the year. Dylan Mulvaney is a biological man. Some see me as a woman of a year and some change, as I only publicly came out online 560 days ago. Wow, so stunning and brave. So stunning and brave. This is a woman... I'm sorry, this is a person who has for their entire life, right back to appearances on The Price is Right, have, have seeked, been seeking fame their entire life. And then it just so happened in a coincidental way that being, you know, being trans became something that was being worshipped by the leftist media. And then sure enough, Dylan Mulvaney, you know, is trans. Is it, is it possible? Sure. Point some, some, you know, 0.05 or whatever. I don't know the exact percent percentage 
of the population does have gender dysmorphia. It is possible. It's also possible that someone won the Powerball last night. And some people don't see me as a woman at all. Oh, boo. I know. Which is why receiving this honor from a queer publication like Attitude means so much more to me. Because here's what I've realized. You ready? Okay. So, no matter how hard I try, or what I wear, or what I say, or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. If you believe in biology, you are hateful. Now, look, I, I've been, look, am I, am I like a worshiper of trans individuals, like leftoids? No, but I, I, I think that trans individuals should be able to live their life whatever way they want to as you know as long as you're not infringing on other people's rights or breaking the law okay i don't i nothing trans people trans people have existed for a very long time and my life has not been affected one way or the other okay it's only recently in the past couple of years when when these activists in this group decided hey we want biological men to go in the women's room we want you know biological men to compete against women in sports we want so it went from live and let live which just about everyone finally agreed on with like the exception an exception of a few people most people believed in live and let live even begrudgingly okay that flew out the window everything was fine in 2015 but now it became this thing as you must date you must date trans people or you're a bigot look what they've done to women uh lesbian women who want to date biological women are being called turfs and hateful and bigots because they don't want to date a biological man who identifies as a woman it's just been pushed too far people who have always been like ah whatever it doesn't bother me like that doesn't that doesn't fly anymore because it does bother me. It does affect people now, other people. You wanna wanna live your life as an androgynous tree person and you want your friends and family to use ENT and ENTER, ENTEL promo promo codes, pronouns. Fine, that's not hurting anybody, okay? They can either do it or not, but that's what it is. When you start talking about well, we want to compete in women's sports. We want to be in women's spaces. We want to change next to them in the locker room. We want to be on their sports teams. We want to, um, you know, take their positions on, uh, on, um, you know, any competitive, any competitive event divided by gender. We found out what these people were really about. The NCAA, or it was the International Swimming or the NCAA, whatever the swimming body of governance came up with what is a fair solution and created a category for trans individuals to compete in, right? Because nobody can reasonably deny the gigantic biological advantages biological men have against biological women in feats of strength. So the fact, of the, the fact remains... Or so anyway, so then the swimming people come out and say, okay, well, we'll just, since you really want to swim so bad, since all you want to do is swim, we're going to create a category for everybody who, you know, an open category, essentially. And this is where trans individuals will swim. Do you know how many biological men who wanted to swim against biological women signed up for that category? I'll give you a guess. It, it, it was zero. Not a single person who've been, who's been telling us for years, we just want to swim. We want to swim. We just want to compete. We want to do this. Not a single person signed up for that category. They all proved that they only wanted to compete against biological women because they have huge advantages. That's what it was. But as long as I have the queer community that sees me for my truth, I'm going to be okay. By the way, Jaguar and sponsored I'm Virgin Atlantic. I'm equally grateful that this title is happening in the UK and not just because I am deeply attracted to your accents, which I am. 
Isn't it funny that uh, Dylan, I believe the current count is not one person has kissed Dylan Mulvaney in two years. Can't find a date. But because I came to London on holiday this summer after months of feeling isolated. On holiday. And when I arrived, I, I didn't feel that baggage that I was carrying back in the U.S. And I didn't feel like the trans beer girl. You know, I, I, did, I didn't walk into rooms and wonder, oh, does that person hate me? Um, I never hated this individual and I don't hate them. I feel bad for them. They will never truly find happiness. Um, and they're essentially being used as a tool for advertisers to spread the message. They're, 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 they're discarded once they no longer have woke points. Woman of the year. I mean, okay, you're not a, you're not a biological woman. And I don't think this actually does anything good for the, for the trans movement. I don't think it actually helps breed more acceptance. I don't think it, it makes, it normalizes any of it. It makes people actually really strongly dislike you. And I just, this is a clown world we live in, I suppose.